Okay, <clears throat> long time no see. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I bought my two USB sticks. And I mean, this video is just purely about uh, fixing the black screen after update in case you would have it. And I'll show you the way what, what I got. <clears throat> so for all the new subscribers who haven't seen all my super duper videos, which are more or less good. <laughs> some are good, very helpful. Some are just more bubbling, I guess. Um, I use Catfish. So I fire up Catfish. And I have a folder which I call Linux Tweaks. And if I look into it, I've got some folders with Antegors, Antegors, MX16, Magia, everything, and some loose files. <coughs> and I'm too, too, too uh, how can I say this? Um, too lazy to search, and I can't memorize everything after, I don't know, eternity when I need it. So I use Catfish and my Linux Tweaks folder as my photographic memory. I'm just updating his library, shouldn't do much. Dun -dun 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 -dun. And I just rebooted, so that could be that it takes a little longer because of that. Usually if I want delays, um, so small delays, I use uh, Peppermint OS. <laughs> <laughs> if, I if I don't get, want to get to work, I'm just using Microsoft. <laughs> no worries. No, no, no. I'm not using Microsoft. So I just should say calculate black. Let's see how that goes. And then I go in settings and say full text search, just in case. Uh, gen to calculate stops the kernel. Calculate gen to overlays. Gen to calculate compiling overheating. Custom Rosetta Stone. Wow. I wonder how I called it. So you see, now I have to go with Lazy Dirk. Um, it should be somewhere here. Calculate Linux, we see. Maybe it's too much. Just calculate. Let's see how that goes. Oh, update. Update. Calculate update. Let's see what I got here. Gen to calculate Linux, use flags. Calculate stop kernel. Calculating gen to overlays, gen to calculate compiling, overheating, maintenance, blah, 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 blah. Ah, I thought I saved it. I might have not saved it. Uh, I should have. Yeah, you see, that's real life here. So, okay. Mm -mm -mm. Where's my catfish? Yeah, if you're silly Dirk, then uh, even catfish can't help you anymore. <laughs> Let's try NVIDIA. Oh, I don't want to go in Dirk. No, 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 no. Linux tweaks. Uh, let's try it here. The text search, NVIDIA. Calculate the black screen. You see, I didn't write it properly. Holy moly. Okay, here it is. That's what I wanted. So when I save it, save as calculate Linux NVIDIA black screen after update. Oh, well, that should usually find it, right? So I'll just save it one more time. Duran. So what you got to do is, uh, the best thing came from Sergi, of course. <laughs> Surprise. So you open a terminal, Duran. Then you I'll go SU, or you can use sudo, whatever works for you. Uh, just if I, oh, I just screwed that up, hold on. I'll get it exterminated here. Um, whatever works for you. Just if I do real hard work on a system, I'd rather go root instead of sudo, because sudo is not root. So do not mistake that. People think if you have sudo, you're root. Nah, you're not, not really. There's tiny little differences, which could throw a curveball on you depending on how deep you dig in your system. So you would just put in uh, your sudo, your, yeah, so you uh, change user to root. Yeah, if I type here, who am I? Oh, who am I? Then it would tell me, wow me. <laughs> Okay, now it tells me root, you know. when One day I learn spelling and then I will have much, much more easier. So it tells me I'm root here. So then you t uh, copy, paste that. I put that in the description, paste it, and drain, it will do all the things. And it restores everything back <coughs> functioning. I personal didn't have the uh, mistake, so I couldn't, uh, rec um, yeah, I couldn't, redo all the same thing. So that worked for most, uh, Sergi said, and I trust what he says is good to go. This is another thing which could work. CL-setup-video space dash dash video space NVIDIA. That could fix it too. But if that fixes it, do this, because that takes care of the whole system. That only takes care of the uh, NVIDIA driver and stuff like that. And then you could do CL-setup boot. But I trust, I put everything there. 
um, but I trust that what Selji said will do. I don't have some the failure and I can't re reconst uh, redo the error. And usually I'm up, up to date. I would have posted it right away. But as I said, I'm terrible busy. Today I thought I can make a video, then somebody called, oh, can I book you for an hour, you know. No, I'm not not a, a model and I got taken out by people. <laughs> I'm a driving instructor. I can hear you already, everybody. Guys, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm not a toy boy. <laughs> I'm a driving instructor. So, And then I uh, met my customer on a car park car park and then the next one came ah can i can you have an hour with my wife not not what using an hour driving yeah guys <laughs> stay focused so i said okay okay and in one hour i have to be already on the road with my next customer and then i've got four in a row so that will take me till at least 8 8 30 today and then i come back and i hope um, to do another video then so just a short up so this will fix your system if you have the black screen i put that in the description so you will be fine having it um, make a little folder, call it Linux Tweaks, or I saw it at DZME Linux. <laughs> then you have Catfish and then you can search for it, right? Everything. So you don't have to memorize everything because who does, right? So, okay, um, Sergi does, but everybody else does not so much. Okay, there is uh, Irish, yeah, he knows and remembers, and there's just Gregor. But those are the exceptions, I hope, because that makes me look stupid. <laughs> All right, so. Second thing, um, I bought two USB sticks because I said I will f uh, fix quick and show you how I fix uh, Centurion. But I'm very tempted. I have a friend. I do this. Doesn't matter what. So I bought this two USB stick. I will f uh, fix it, reinstall it, show you how to get your system back up and running with a brand new install without any trouble, even if you have encrypted drives, right? So having said this, a friend of mine, he needed, a, he wanted a Linux server. And he said he wanted to go with Manjaro. I told him, look, this guy is with the devil in bed. Forget about it. Don't go. And he said, Antergos. I said, Antergos is good. As good. But I said, I had Vanilla Arch running. And even on a server software, if you have LTS, you still run these updates. Yeah, It's just tons of updates. So I told him, my, my favorite, I had Debian, I had Arch um, on Linux distributions, right? These two I had. And on the end... I tried CentOS or what I call CentOS and it was the best. Uh, to be honest, if you want a Linux server, CentOS, CentOS, that's the way to go. And that's really a long-term release. And I think that changed from JUM to DNF quite some time ago now. Um, same syntax, everything almost the same like uh, Debian. So you're totally fine to use it. It's just instead of apt or apt-get, you use uh, Yum or DNF. I would use DNF now that changed to it. That's a good thing. Yum just still works. So, and everything he wanted to do, I said, look, it works. And he said, yeah, but it's not uh, latest. I said, you don't need to. I said, all your applications update by themselves or you can update manually. So you're not depending on any repros or stuff like that. So I kind of convinced him, I think. And I want to change when I got this fixed here with my Freenas. Uh, I will just copy some data over to my Xenology disk station, make sure that I got everything backed up. And then I will put my um, CentOS on and I will use BTRFS, what I usually do. And because that had the best uh, resource usage. So when I had Debian or Arch um, and I had Plex running and Zap and that BD and that Beget, uh, Radar, Zona, uh, Sickbeard, I just tried all these little things, look how they look like and stuff like that. And so when I had Plex transcoding, uh, in Debian Arch, sometimes it just struggled a little bit, and I said, dang, yeah? And with CentOS, same videos, no struggle. So CentOS somehow uses their resources very wisely. And it is a rock-solid system. I mean, I think their LTS is 100 years, or no, I was exaggerating, it's just 50. I, I think in reality it's seven years, so that's a good LTS, you know? Especially on a server, all you want is security, safety for your data, and functionality and CentOS got all of it all of it it is just rock solid and how i always say software alone doesn't help you like if you go to arch and you have a problem all you get is these smart people telling you can't you can you can you not read man pages 
Czechoslovakia. You know, these are people who have no clue, but they feel very competent and, and, and great when they drop that line to you because in reality they can't fix it, so they can't help. But it looks smart and gives them tons of points. Look, you answered 5,000 uh, questions. Yeah, with look, uh, check the wiki and can't you read man pages? What the heck? Nobody needs people like that, right? So you go to something where you have support. So CentOS, uh, I was a little bit silly with uh, Python stuff. And I asked a question, and yeah, copy, paste, copy, paste, everything worked. And you got it explained too, because some arch people think they have to make you guess, yeah? and how to things work. No, if somebody gives you the solution and explains why, that makes sense. And then it worked. So CentOS was very friendly, very competent, competent their uh, forum, their community. There's almost nothing happening because it's simple, it works, it's a really long-term system. Uh, it's great, it's absolutely great. If you have resources to spare, like RAM and CPU power, and you want to go big terabytes, then I would actually go to FreeNAS. If you have FreeNAS, has a rock solid system. Uh, or even with ZFS, it's great. It's I love it. Cool, totally cool. That's why my um, Voyager, which is now TARDIS, will stay FreeNAS. I keep that running for now. Uh, and once I showed you guys how to fix cent my Centurion FreeNAS, where one USB stick died. I try to resilver it. I will give it a shot. Now I've got new USB sticks. It should work. We're going to look. And if not, then I'll show you the easiest way. Because if resilvering doesn't work, just don't waste your time. There's, there are much easier ways to do it. Yeah. And I got to show you how it works. All right. Um, having said all this, I mean, yes, you could do it with ZFS uh, terminal commands. But I'm not familiar with ZFS terminal commands. I'm like GUIs. Yeah, I like graphical environment and and get it done. I don't want to waste my time. I want to use the functions. Uh, I'm a user, not a programmer. So I want the easy stuff, you know. All right. Having said all this, um, I hope you liked that little video. I mean, a little bit late, but for some people it might just come right in time. So if you have a black screen after an update, and I tell you, if you had it, it is some kind of six in uh, right in lottery. It's very, very, very rare that you get something like that on Calculate Linux. I never had it, I still don't have it. So some do's, I don't. So it's very interesting that some have it. Um, I still have a computer here where I got Calculate Linux on with NVIDIA graphic card, but I think if it happened before, they fixed it already. Because the Calculate Linux team, they're usually on their toes. Like everything would start with CL-setup, CL-update and stuff like that are their scripts. And they are smartly done. So they fix your system. They do everything. Uh, Calculate Linux is gentle without pain and without tons of compiling time. You can if you want to, but you don't have to. You can use the uh, uh, binaries. They're with Layman uh, on from Calculate. Uh, their they overlay is on, and that's how it gets prioritized. So it takes binaries instead of uh, source code. But you also can change and do whatever you want. You can install as much as you want. So two different versions of Thunderbird or whatever. All right, so this is it. I cut that video really, really short. Sorry for the delay, guys. Um, I'm not too sure. I like actually having some money in my pocket for a for change. That's not bad. Okay, Sergi, thank you so much. Uh, great help. You were on your toes. Uh, I asked the forum. They came back with the other solution. But that was user's community, right? And you have found the CL-setup system. So that is totally great. Thank you so much. Um, guys, I hope you liked that video. I hope, I hope it helps people who get stuck. And we we'll see us soon. Um, fixing CentOS, uh, not CentOS, Centurion, which is my Mac Mini from 2009, which is running FreeNAS, which threw a curveball on me saying one USB stick is faulty and didn't want to recognize another USB stick for what reason so ever or reserve a new one in. Okay, this is it, guys. I hope you liked the video. See you soon. Don't you worry. The channel will be alive. It's just my first batch of students uh, are very... It's huge. Let's say it's huge. It's overwhelming. I have to find my... my um, what's it called? My rhythm, right? I have to find how to schedule them, the time management and stuff like that and get them all in. All right, guys. Thank you so much. And I hope you're all well and everything is well and I hope you like uh, and enjoy your calculate Linux or any Linux. Don't use Microsoft. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm out. Bye, 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 bye.